Hey guys, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today my husband Donald has joined me in the kitchen again. Hi YouTube, long time no see. Today we're going to show you how to make braised short ribs. It's a great dish to serve at dinner parties or just a nice quiet meal at home. Oh yeah, I remember you making it for our friends and it being a huge hit. Sadly, no leftovers. Uh, we recommend making this in a Dutch oven, but if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can make this in a skillet and a baking pan. To start, we're going to marinate the short ribs. Take a stainless steel bowl. Today, we're making about six to seven pounds of beef short ribs. Add in two tablespoons of fresh thyme, one tablespoon of freshly cracked black pepper, and a generous amount of kosher salt to taste. I'm putting about two tablespoons here. Using your hands, Coat the meat with the seasoning very well. Then cover this with plastic wrap and let it marinate at room temperature for two hours or leave it in the fridge overnight. If you're marinating it overnight, take the short ribs out of the fridge about one hour before you're ready to start cooking to let them cool to room temperature. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna take a Dutch oven and heat it over high heat for three minutes. Again, if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use a skillet. Add in three tablespoons of olive oil. After about one minute, when the oil is very hot and almost smoking, place the short ribs in the pan and sear them until they are nicely browned on all sides, like this. And depending on the size of your pan, you might have to sear your meat in batches. Try your best not to overcrowd the meat. When the ribs are nicely browned on all sides, like this, transfer them to a plate to rest. When the meat is seared, turn the heat down to medium and add about one cup of diced onions, one third cup of diced carrots, one third cup of diced celery, about four sprigs of thyme, and two bay leaves. Stir with a wooden spoon, scraping up all the crusty bits in the pan. Cook for about eight minutes until the vegetables just begin to caramelize. Like this. Then add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, one and a half cups of a dry white wine, today we're using Chardonnay, and two and a half cups of a full-bodied red wine like Cabernet Sauvignon. Turn the heat up to high and boil down the liquid by about half. When the liquid has reduced by half, add in six cups of beef stock and bring it back to a boil. Then add the ribs back into the pot. The stock mixture should almost cover the ribs. Then place four sprigs of flat leaf parsley around the meat, like this, and then cover tightly with the lid. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you can put the short ribs and the braising liquid into a baking dish like this and just tightly cover it with aluminum foil. We're going to braise the ribs in our preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. When it's done, the meat should be really tender and literally falling off the bone. Ooh, smells so good. Let the ribs rest in their juices for about 10 minutes. Then turn the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and take a baking dish and lay the ribs onto the baking sheet in one layer. If the bone falls off as you're transferring it, that's totally okay. Remove those bones as well as the parsley, large thyme sprigs, and bay leaves to discard. Bake the now boneless short ribs in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, Finish straining out any remaining bones, bay leaves, and the sprigs of parsley and thyme from the broth. To thicken the sauce, place the Dutch oven over medium-high heat to reduce the liquid slightly. About 5 to 10 minutes. This is a good time to adjust the seasoning if you'd like, adding salt and or pepper to taste. The ribs are done when they are nice and brown, like this. We recommend serving these braised short ribs with mashed potatoes and whatever vegetables you like. Then spoon lots of the braising juices over the ribs and it's ready to serve. Mmm, mmm, yum. So good. And you don't even need a knife. So tender. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and Donald, thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. Of course! Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make these braised beef short ribs, and if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. Maraming salamat! <laughs>